human rights is a viable option to move your business where we're creating jobs, high paying jobs. So the people that work in the businesses that are relocating here actually can live here. And then we have amenities that attract them. We have great parks, we have great schools, and they're safe. We add all those things together in that combination. There's no reason why the people who are making good money won't want to won't want to stay here and live in a close proximity to where they work. I mean, that's that's kind of the magic sauce on all these other communities who are who are successful. That's the magic sauce they use. We're safe. We have good amenities, and, and people, people want to have good schools, and people want to live close to where they work. And, and council makes, can get along. Or at least act professional. hundred <laughs> percent. Because the pe- those outside people absolutely research where they're going to go and how are they how are they want are they going to be a welcomed member of the community? And I mean that's a that's a that's a that's a big deal. Right. We have to. Um, but, but in part of that, I will, I'm, I will always go back to branding and image of Huber Heights. Again, you know, when we have our own citizens publicly calling us Uber Tucky and that we're all just a bunch of rednecks and we're just this blue collar town, we're just a bedroom community, we're the poor neighborhood up in the north, that's just, that's just not true. I would challenge everyone to look at the latest census data and look at how he writes compares to some of our local cities when it comes to um, really the only area that we truly lack in is our property values, our median residential home value. That does suffer compared to the rest. Uh, so when you look at our, the percentage of people who own a home in Huber Heights versus the people that uh, own a home in some of our surrounding cities, we're neck and neck. Our median income, there might be a five to $6,000 difference in median income between us and some of our surrounding cities. The people with... Um, Post high school education, you know, bachelor's degree, master's degrees, we're very comparable to some of the other areas in this region. Sure. So I'm not sure what the what the big issue is, um, with whatever negative image people associate with Huber Heights, but whatever it is, what I can tell you this, Matt, is if I'm elected on November seventh, that all changes on January first, twenty eighteen. Good deal. Um, before we end this podcast, is there anything? It sounded like you you left it all there, but is there anything else you want to you want to let the folks listening know? Or you know, ultimately this this election is about finding a way for our council and our city government to kind of get their act together to move forward for the residents and the people of this city. I think that happens with true, genuine leadership. And, you know, I've been in a lot of leadership positions and companies I've worked for. I've been tasked on several different occasions to go into um, a situation where there's a team that's not working well together, um, needs to work more efficiently. I mean, you name it. I've been in all those kinds of scenarios. And I am very happy and I'm proud to say that I haven't failed in any of those scenarios yet. And if elected, I don't plan on failing this time. I think there's enough common ground with, with all the candidates who are running and all the people that are currently on council that however this turns or however this ends up, we can work together to move the city forward and do a lot of repair to our image and our brand uh, as a city. And that is what this is all about. All right. Well, so please, no matter who you vote for, or what you think, um, just do the job of showing up at the polls on November seventh, and vote your conscience. Vote who you believe uh, is best suited to, to move this city forward, and sell this city to our neighboring communities and neighboring regions. And I believe that's me. That's why I'm running. All right. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate you uh, coming on Inspired and Admired. Thanks again for the opportunity, Matt. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. That's going to do it for episode number 16. I would like to thank Jeff Gore for joining Inspired and Admired. 
I would like to thank you for listening to Inspired and Admired. And I would like to thank you for sharing this podcast with a friend next week on the podcast. I have Andy Hill. He's running for the Ward 4 seat in the city of Huber Heights. So join me next week for that. Follow us on Facebook at Inspired and Admired Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at True Podcast. You can follow me, Matt Truman, at Doc underscore True underscore Man on Instagram. Thank you very much. Also, please remember to give us a review wherever reviews are available. iTunes is a perfect example. Shoot over to iTunes if you are an Apple user. Give us a review there. I would greatly appreciate it. See you next Wednesday, everybody. Have a great and fabulous week. Are you still there? Good. Yeah, you, the listener. This is like the secret track on on a CD that you bought back in 1996. This is that secret track. I need another favor from you, the person listening to this podcast. September 9th, the Huber Heights Marigold Festival is going on. There's a booth that's going to be set up. It's called the Huber Heights Veterans Project. What they are trying to do is raise upwards of a hundred thousand dollars to build a veterans memorial in the city of Huber Heights. They have some merchandise on sale, some beautiful shirts, some koozies for your cold drinks and those wonderful wristbands that the kids enjoy and everyone enjoys. Stop by that booth, pick up some of those items, help support the project A hundred percent of the proceeds go directly to the project and yeah, let's build a veterans memorial in Huber Heights. There's the secret track. That's the favor I wanted from you. Now run along and have a fabulous week. I don't know. I like doing that. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.